We are here in the beautiful island of Aruba, which sits towards the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. In our first two episodes in this series, we explored the gorgeous Marriott Surf Club Resort and then ate at some of the best restaurants nearby. In this third and final episode of our Aruba series, I head offshore with Crystal Fishing Charters to see if we can catch lunch for everybody for the day. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hey, what's going on? I'm in Aruba and today we are going deep sea fishing with Crystal Fishing Company here at the Ahara Kakuri uh, Pier. Man, I can't wait for this. I've actually been out with this company before. It's been four years, but oh my gosh. I mean, what a day this is gonna be for fishing and hopefully we can either get some mahi, some wahoo, we might catch some tuna, even though I don't really eat tuna, we might catch some tuna, but maybe a shark, uh, who knows, sailfish, we will see. But let's go and enjoy the day of fishing here in Aruba. So I'm staying here at the Marriott Ruba Surf Club and it's right in the complex of all the other Marriott's the Ocean Club the regular Marriott the Ritz Carlton this pier is right behind here so I don't have to take a cab into town or anything like that it is literally right here which is the best now the goal today is to catch fish have it cut up right there on the pier and bring it back here and cook it right in our kitchen for lunch. So it'd be the freshest fish ever. That's the plan. Um, there's no guarantees in fishing. So, hey, if we don't catch anything, that's that's a possibility. So this, this charter, I think you can take up to five or six people. It costs $450 plus a tip. You get four hours. Uh, and they'll give you a certain percentage of the fish. So if you catch a lot of fish, you get a lot of fish. Um, but it, I think it's a pretty fair deal. It was about the, about the same price as when I did it eight years ago. So inflation really hasn't caught up. So this restaurant behind me uh, had a kakiri. If you don't have a kitchen here and you want to fish, you can bring your fish right here and they will cook it for you. So not a bad deal either. So here's the pier straight ahead. Beautiful beach here. This is where I already see the boat at the end. Like I said, I've been here before, so gosh, cannot wait. Morning. I'm ready, man. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What's your name? Alexander. Alexander, Matt. Nice, nice to meet, meet you, man. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be a great day. How are you? Hey. Nice to meet you, Tom. Nice to meet you, Tom. Yes. Yeah, I was here four years ago. My wife and I came on. Man, I fish yeah, you, you fish every day. Yeah. So. <laughs> I see so many faces. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I look at pictures from like years ago and I'm like, because I'm in the picture, I'm like, yeah, okay, that's me. Yeah, it <laughs> you know? all blends in. It all yeah. blends in, yeah. Exactly, every day, you know. Yep. It, it sounds boring, but it is not. And on this charter, I'm joined by my friend, Raimundo Barros. He owns Gasparito Restaurant here on the island that serves local Aruban cuisine. We ate there two nights ago, and I asked him if he wanted to come along, and he said, yeah, sure. So, pretty cool. And like I mentioned before, there's no guarantees out here when you're out on the water fishing. I mean, you just don't know if you're gonna catch anything. I talked to a guy in the pool the other day. He went out for almost a full day and only caught two fish. He was pretty disappointed, but hey, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Fingers crossed. So what are you using as bait right there? This is a uh, belly from a 
Bonita. Bonita. It is getting choppy out here. So just beware if you get seasick. Luckily this is my third time out here. First two times I didn't get sick. But if you're one to easily get seasick, this is probably isn't for you. Now these hand lines look simple, but as Tom is teaching me, there really is a method to it uh, to do it correctly. <laughs> you know, I I tried, but I eventually got it, I think. But it was going to come in handy today because the hand lines were going to be hot. And before you knew it, we had a bite on one of them, so I jumped over. Pull it in. Whoa! <laughs> Barracuda? Yeah. Barracuda on the hand line. And then just like that, another one. I mean, what is going on here? It's like we're catching these barracuda out of a barrel. Another barracuda. That's four barracuda. <laughs> All on the hand line. Macro. Macro, yeah. That's good fish. 
fish, right? Of course we do. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Well, at least we caught something else other than barracuda. Never had king mackerel before, so I'm pretty excited about that. Well, we caught about 10 fish, and now we're about 30 minutes of nothing. We didn't catch any mahi, wahoo, tuna, or shark, but all in all, this was a pretty successful fishing charter, I have to say. What a day. That was awesome. Now time for lunch, but we gotta cut it up first. So, let's go in to cut it up. Right here on the pier, fillet it, and take it back to the hotel. And just as we start laying out the catch, hey, look who shows up. It's Rach, coming to see what we caught and what she's gonna eat for lunch. And before you do anything, uh, make sure you get a good picture or two with all the fish. You always gotta do that, just for good memories. You like kingfish better than wahoo? It's uh, softer, it doesn't dry out as much. Okay. But that's the kind of No, yeah. And do you like barracuda? Yeah. And yes, I know what you're probably thinking. Is it safe to eat barracuda? Yeah, it is. I mean, but you gotta remember one thing. You only eat the small ones, okay? Don't eat the large ones. Um, because if you do, there is a chance you can get ciguatera poisoning. So, I don't even know if I pronounced that right, but it is, a, it is a real thing. And there are some restaurants here on the island that just won't serve barracuda, uh, just like Raimundo's, who don't wanna take that chance. But all in all, it's pretty safe. Now, I wasn't very familiar with king mackerel, and to be quite honest, I didn't know how you serve it, how you eat it, or whatever, but I did learn something from Tom when he was cutting it up. He actually cut it up into steaks, which I wasn't expecting, but this is what he said. Hey, this is what the Rubens do here locally. So, all right, hey, go ahead and do it. We'll take it back, and uh, we'll make something of it. No big deal. One thing to note here is that in the agreement, the crew actually keeps two thirds of the catch. So just remember that when you book. All right, successful day out on the sea. <laughs> Rach, Rach came over to check out the fish being cut up. Got it here, I gotta separate it. We got a lot of fish. And we're gonna cook some barracuda for lunch. Yes, some barracuda. So, can't wait for that, and 
we'll meet you back in the kitchen. A little word of advice. Some bad blisters and pulling that line. If you're going to be on the boat, bring some gloves and spare yourself these nasty blisters. Well, we use the, the hand line a lot today, but sometimes you only use it once, sometimes not at all. Today, we used it a lot and I am torn up. Heating up some extra steak too from the other night. So we'll have that with it. Just got some butter, some olive oil in the pan here. We're gonna cut these up, we're gonna season them. Shout out to Woolies in Pittsburgh, I brought this from there. And then I got salt and pepper. So between the two of them and the pan, we're gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna do some french fries here. We have very limited stuff because clearly we just made one, one and a half trips to the grocery store. So we don't have a whole lot, but we're gonna do some blackened fish today. Um, said to cook, to cook the barracuda first since it'll go bad. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to slice him up a little bit more from what he did. And I know there's still some bones in it, but we'll just have to deal with that. <laughs> Fred's doing laundry. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting up the barracuda. We got a lot of it. Just gonna use this nice, good part here. And we're gonna season those up. All right, so we're gonna do a little salt. The main star of the show here is the Woolies. We're gonna start throwing these into the pan. Thing was swimming about four hours ago, maybe three hours ago. Did they hit him on the head? No, they don't hit him on the head. All right, got the pin. We're looking for 145, 150. Looks like we're good. Nice. And just as we're finishing up the second batch, it's time to pop open some white burgundy. All right, we got barracuda, some lemon and lime wedges, fries, a little bit of steak if anybody wants it left over from Bruce Chris. What am I eating? You're eating barracuda. Okay, that's, that's all I want to <laughs> Okay, okay. <clears throat> let's, let's hope it's good. And if the fish starts to move, we're good. Yeah, this is this is good. Now, remember, there's still skin on the bottom. Yep. How was it, Fred? Good. Very fresh, isn't it? Oh, you gotta get the lemon on there. You gotta have lemon. All right, everyone. What's everyone giving the food, atmosphere, and service? Ten plus. No. Oh, I think that's no, too generous. No. Mm -hmm. Food is very good. Food's nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. All right. So that was a, a successful catch, clean, and cook. Very good. You did. It. Everybody's Rachel happy, right? Good. Even Rachel. Rach. Oh, yes, it was good. Rach is even. Uh... Kudos to the chef. <laughs> you got something right there. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here. No, we're clean. Well, no, actually, oh, I'll take. We'll do tomorrow's uh, king mackerel cook. I'll include the king mackerel cook tomorrow. So day two of the fish cook. We got king mackerel today. French fries. And French fries. <laughs> the second half of the frozen fries. 
we're gonna cook it pretty much pretty much the same way that we cooked yesterday's uh, barracuda. Fred liked the barracuda, right Fred? There you go. Got some poi frise, Louis Latour from France. Burgundy, bone. You've seen our videos, we were just in Burgundy. So we're kind of on a burgundy kick. I am on a burgundy kick. Fred's gonna really like this one, I know he is. So they cut up this king mackerel into steaks. What I'm doing just for the purpose of we only have a few people eating it today, I'm cutting up, cutting up the medallions, the good meat here, to fry up and season. And we might even mess around and just put them in some tacos. Why not? This is what we have, so you cook with what you have. Um, some olive oil, butter, put them in the tacos. And then what else can we put in the tacos? We can put... Uh, Do you want to try fish and cheese? Oh no, the green salsa oh, we yeah, bought. Green salsa. green salsa. Yeah, probably not cheese. Cheese doesn't really go with it. There's Cindy. How are you, Cindy? I'm good, honey. Thank you. <laughs> you ready for some fish tacos? Fresh fish? Maybe not? Okay. These do look like scallops. Yeah, they do. The good part of the meat. Yeah, that right one looks here. like a good one. The good part of the meat's right in here. So I'm just cutting around the bones. Make it easy for everyone to eat. I don't want to be sorting through the bones and all that. And then just cutting off the skin. Yeah, you know, so you're left with a nice little piece of fish. So that's what we're doing. So I got the kingfish cut up into some little medallions here. And basically we're just gonna season these, transfer them right over to the heat. In the, in the skillet here we got butter, olive oil, of course the Woolies blackened seasoning from Pittsburgh. And we're gonna fry these up and maybe put them into some tacos, break them down with some green salsa, maybe just serve them as is. But I think this kingfish is going to be pretty good. Cooking with what we have. Cooking with what we have. So we got green salsa. Chopping this up for tacos. We're going to serve them that way. I think it's going to be pretty good. What do you think, Fred? Good. Good. Green salsa. So these are really good. Um, I like these maybe better than yesterday's meal, I think. But very fresh. Fish tacos, some fries. Cheers, Fred. Mmm. Mmm. I know. And that concludes our Aruba series here, part three. So thanks so much for watching as always. I hope you really enjoyed the videos. I hope you find them useful. And if you caught anything here in Aruba while you were fishing, please put it in the comments below and let me know how that experience was. Take care, peace.